As a Virgin Media Technician, your day will start early. Waking up in plenty of time to get ready and check your route for the day is a key predictor for how the rest of your day will play out. Every day, you're an ambassador for both Virgin Media and yourself. Wear your Virgin Media uniform with pride. We stick out from the crowd and we like it that way. It's just one of the stepping stones towards our North Star. Checking your PDA at the earliest possible point will let you know what time to leave for your first job. You should either be there by 8am or when that's not possible, leave by 7.30 at the very latest. Your van is your responsibility and your biggest company asset. Check it daily and report any damage to your manager immediately. Presentation is a key part of your personal brand, so your van should sparkle just like you. Our purpose is important, building connections that really matter with both our people and our customers. For your customer, that's about meeting and then exceeding their expectations. And that starts with the pre-call. Hello. Hi there, is that Mrs Sloan? It is, yeah. Hi there, Zoe here from Virgin Media that's popping out to your install this morning. Brilliant. Yeah, it's just a quick call to then all that I'm on my way to yourself with you for about 8 o'clock if that's alright. Perfect, I'll get the kettle on. Oh perfect, and if you just give me a wee reminder once I'm there, I'll tell you how you can save £50 off your bill. That sounds awesome. Okay, perfect, I'll see you soon. See you soon, right. bye Zoe. Bye bye. Whether it's yours or your customers, every journey needs a destination. Our destination is clear. To grow through advocacy by becoming the most recommended brand by our people and our customers. You are a Virgin Media brand ambassador. Not only while you're at work, but outside of work too. Your enthusiasm for our products and everything else that we have to offer will be a driving factor in the journey to our North Star. Where possible, always pull up with your side door to the curb. When you need to remove CPE or consumables from your van, it's important to know exactly where they are, so keeping the back of your van organised is key. Remember to use your CPE in the correct sequence. Hello, Mrs Sloan, it's Zoe from Virgin Media. We spoke on the phone, I'm here to install your services. Oh yeah, yeah, come in. Let me just pop these down for two seconds. I'll just pop these wee covers on. Oh, don't worry about that. I haven't tidied yet. Don't be silly. It'll only take two seconds. Okay, brilliant. Just mind showing me where they're going? Yep, come on through. Perfect, thank you. I'll just grab this door. Okay, so ideally, I'd like my TV on here. Listen to your customer and provide them with meaningful responses to their questions. Every customer is different, but the one thing they all have in common is that they want their services to work. Be sure to accommodate the customer's needs and explore every possible avenue to keep the customer happy. Encourage the customer to sign up for MyVM. This will mean that they can make full use of their services and will capture a current email address, making it more likely that they'll receive their NPS yeah, survey. That definitely speed along the process and we oh. can cover that at the end. Excellent. Okay, we'll see how it goes then. Perfect. All right, thank you. So I've just got some cable here. I just need to run a cable from this point on the wall here to the back of the unit. Uh, I'll stick a couple. Of your customer will appreciate being kept up to date with the job as you're doing it. If you need to leave or take any significant actions like running cable or switching something off, let the customer know first. Mrs Sloan, I'm just popping out to the cabinet. It won't be too long. Okay, no worries. Okay. Safety is your primary concern. Always check the cab for voltage and gas before opening using your gas tester and voltage pen. After checking the signal levels coming from the appropriate port for your customer, tag the drop with their address, the date and your tech ID. Fibre to the premises is only different in that you must ensure that the fibre is clean using your scope. If it's not, give it a good clean and check it again. Always remember ICMC. Inspect, clean, measure and connect. Perform the same checks at the ETB. And in HFC, ensure that the signal levels are what they should be at the ETB. Carry out a quick calculation based on distance and the type of cable. If there are no anomalies, it's time to get the customer up and running. If you need to drill a hole, remember to use your pipe detector. Reducing noise in our network is as simple as properly terminating and tightening every F on every installation. 
Loose connections are a significant cause of ingress onto our network, which affects network performance and the customer's experience. And once we've given the signal levels one last check before connecting up the CPE, it's time to get things up and running. Use the load up time of the CPE to your advantage. Fill out some paperwork and update the customer on your progress. Mrs Sloan? Yeah? Just going back to what you said about your daughter's connection earlier on, I just want to run a quick Wi-Fi home check and make sure that the signal is a lot better up there for you, just so you're not having any issues. Is that Brilliant. all right? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, just want to show me, show me the way to go. Yes, that'd be perfect. Way, if you want to just follow me. Uh, yeah, so the signal doesn't look great on the iPad. No, it doesn't. Let's have a look. If you've identified, using Trinity, a black spot on the customer's house, it's time to discuss options. Um, but luckily for you, we've got a great deal with the power line boosters. Customers on top tier bundles are eligible for free Wi-Fi boosters. Use Trinity to measure signal loss around the customer's home. If at any point it drops below minus 75 dBm, install the boosters free of charge. If the customer isn't eligible for free boosters, explain the benefits anyway. If the customer knows what the boosters will do for them, it is likely that they will take them. Yes. And I'll get a better signal up here with them then. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, okay. Super. We'll get them set okay up for you. Them. Yeah. Perfect. Before plugging anything into the customer's electrical outlets, ensure you test the outlet first using your Martindale. That should be working now. Is it done already? Yep. Oh, that's much better, yeah. When setting up the boosters, ensure they're cloned to use the same SSID and password as the Hub 3 to allow seamless connectivity around the home. So, Mrs. Swan, well, I just wanted to walk you through a few of the features. Giving each and every customer a bespoke rundown of their new services is another chance to showcase all the amazing benefits of being one of our customers. Whether it's using the TV Go app to watch their favourite shows from the comfort of their sun lounger anywhere in Europe, or using the Connect app to take control of their children's screen time, the data shows that the customers who make use of these apps provide better NPS scores. Before wrapping up, perform an early ring back test in the customer's presence, preferably with their phone. It is absolutely paramount that the customer is happy with the location of their telephone and that they see it working. Wrapping up the visit is about demonstrating what you've done for the customer and securing the NPS 10 you deserve. Explain to the customer that they will receive a survey from Virgin Media and Medallia in their email inbox. Walking through the features and benefits will help make the customer feel comfortable about bringing their friends and family on board. And to finish, take the customer through the checklist step by step and have them sign it. This is your opportunity to make sure the customer is satisfied with everything you've done. Once you're happy that everything's up to scratch, it's time to move on to another customer who you can delightfully surprise with your red hot service. This is your last chance to climb to the top of that NPS pyramid. Our customers' expectations are already high, so exceeding them won't be easy. They already expect a pre-call, overshoes and to be left with a working service. But luckily, you do have the tools to make this happen. Once you've explained to the customer how you can save them money off their bill with our Refer a Friend scheme, they're going to be even more likely to score you that NPS 10. If for any reason you're unable to complete the job on the day, let your manager know. Also ensure that you close it down with the correct code to ensure that Virgin Media are able to comply with the auto compensation guidelines from Ofcom. And if it is complete, then make sure you close the work order down before you drive off. From the moment you woke up this morning until you closed that job down, that customer's experience was entirely in your hands. You will come up against challenges in this job, but the manner and efficiency with which you navigate these challenges will have a bigger impact on your success than the adversity itself. Think for a moment about the accountability ladder. When you're faced with adversity, how do you react? On which rung of this ladder are you positioned? Do you get comfortable on the lower rungs, blaming others and pleading ignorance? Or do you climb to the top and find the solutions to make it happen?